Welcome to Shabbos Shoutouts. This week's Torah portion, Beshalach, is a real head scratcher. No, I'm not talking about the second plague of lice that Hashem brought against Egypt. But Israel, the Jewish people are finally free. The tenth and final plague took place. Pharaoh came looking for Moses in the middle of the night and said, Enough! Out! Egypt's destroyed! Our firstborn are dead! Take your people, your animals, your laptops, everything, and leave Egypt for good. Early the next morning, on the 15th of Nisan, the Jewish people left Lach, Stock, and Matzah. But seven days later, at the Red Sea, guess who came to visit? Pharaoh and the Egyptian army, ready to drag the Jewish people back to Egypt. What in the world were the Egyptians thinking? Didn't they learn their lesson once, twice, ten times? For centuries, people believed that Aristotle was right when he said that the heavier the object, the faster it would fall to earth. Aristotle was regarded as the greatest thinker of all time. Of course, Aristotle couldn't be wrong, could he? Anyone, obviously, could have taken two objects, one heavy and one light, and dropped them from a great height to see which one fell faster. But no one did until ne nearly 2,000 years after Aristotle's death. Legend has it that in 1589, Galileo gathered prominent professors at the base of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Then Galileo went to the top, climbing the stairs, the elevator was broken, and pushed off a 10 pound and one pound weight at the same time. And both landed at the exact same moment. So everyone was convinced, right? Wrong. The power of belief was so strong the professors denied their eyesight. They continued to say that Aristotle was right. So let's go back to our question about Pharaoh and the Egyptians. After 10 devastating plagues, they chased after the Jewish people, only to be drowned in the Red Sea. Were they gluttons for punishment? What were they thinking? Rabbi Noah Weinberg of blessed memory would often say, the world is insane and the insanity is contagious. Learn to think for yourself and look to the Torah for wisdom and clarity. What were the Egyptians thinking? The problem was they weren't thinking. They were feeling. They were caught up in the moment, facing the loss of their valuable slaves. And in a split second, off they went, chasing the Jewish people. At times, the world is insane and insanity is contagious. Don't be in denial like Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Let's think for ourselves using Hashem's wisdom found in the Torah for clarity in a beautiful life. Good Shabbos.